Hey there everyone, it's Maria Young here and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are brand new to this channel, welcome and thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of my tropical plant adventures. In today's episode guys, we're going to be sharing with you how you can grow your plants on a pool noodle. That's right. <laughs> right I said it growing plants on a freaking pool noodle what the what the what the what the what what the philodendron am I talking about trust me guys when I say there is a method to my madness there is I have not completely and totally lost my mind I am not totally insane just a little bit guys but not totally, I assure you. As you guys know, I am quite an outside of the pot grower. I'm always looking for new and better ways of growing our plants. And yes, I do believe in sometimes pushing that envelope all for the sake and the cause of growing our plants in as many ways as possible so that we can find out what ways would be best for us. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the great benefits of growing your plant on a pool noodle so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Come on, let's go ahead and check out that pool noodle now. Bam, 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 and boom. Here we are, guys. This is the actual plant right here. You see it growing on an actual pool noodle, believe it or not. So if we do take a closer look and then bring this all the way up to the top, we will see that pool noodle right there. And of course, I did attach sphagnum moss throughout this entire pool noodle, creating somewhat of a moss pole. But guys, not just any moss pole. I am talking about a hanging moss pole, as you are seeing right there. And that, my friend, is the very reason why I elected to use a pool noodle because of its light weight. And by doing it in this way, guys, we're actually eliminating the extreme weight that we would normally have if we would use a wooden piece to create a hanging mount. So that is why I elected to use the pool noodle so that we could hang this up with no problemo. And the actual plant that we're using on this hanging moss pole pool noodle mount is a Raphidophora hayi. This is a shingling variety and it is absolutely perfect for something like this because as you can see there is no soil base substrate at all guys not at all what i went ahead and did is i actually took cuttings of the raphidophora hayi and i just attached it to this mount and as you can see it grew perfectly well so much in fact guys when we started this journey at the beginning of the grow season the actual cuttings were about yay high and as you can see guys it has quadrupled in size look how far we've grown this moss mount right here is more than capable of growing your plants healthy i guess it's just a matter of finding plants that would work well on this type of mount and i do believe your orchids and your tillandsias and other epiphytic plants would grow well on this and as a matter of fact i do have some hoyas in mind for this so definitely stay tuned for more and for those of you guys that are wondering exactly how did i create this hanging pool noodle mount well i definitely used a pool noodle and i cut it down to size of what i wanted that mount to be then afterwards i did exactly what i would do when creating a moss pole i used sphagnum moss i covered the entire pool noodle with it and of course I wound around that fishing line to go ahead and hold the moss in place and then afterwards guys I just simply use this wire hanger and then I took the end of it inserted it into the pool noodle and then I attached it where it is now a hanging moss pole 
And there you have it, folks. That is the way that we're growing our plants on a pool noodle and definitely making these pool noodle mounts. Now, make sure you let me know exactly what you think about this method. And of course, if you guys know of an unorthodox method that you're using and it's working out well, fine, and lovely for you, definitely share those ideas with us by posting those comments below. You already know the more that we know, the more that we can grow. And guys, I do want to thank you for complimenting me on this right here, which is an absolute favorite piece of mine. This is made out of an actual orchid, guys. It's an acrylic piece and it's made out of a Cattleya blossom and it is very precious to me. So thank you guys for noticing in my other video. I do hope that you guys like this video and I hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, make sure you like, share, and also subscribe. It really does help out my channel. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Tropical Plant adventures and as you guys already know I truly do love and appreciate each and every one of you guys all I will see you guys later and I also grow with you guys later as well on my next adventures see you guys later bye bye Peace.